I've used draw effects in layer symbology to add an inner glow to this shape. But now I'm going to also add a drop shadow. So let me show you how to do that. I will double click on the layer. I'll go to symbology. And then I'll click on simple fill and towards the bottom of that window, there's draw effects. It's ticked already because I've got an inner glow. So I'll click the star button and then I need to go to drop shadow. I'll tick the box. By default, the shadow will be quite dark and quite harsh because the opacity is at 100%. So let's take that down to say 60% and click OK and then apply. And now we have a nice drop shadow. If I click the star again, we see that we need to select drop shadow and we can change the angle of the shadow, we can change its size, we can change its color and we can also use blend modes on it. So that's a very simple way to add a drop shadow to a shape. Now, if you have a layer with lots of polygons, it is possible to make a bit of a mess of this. So I'll switch to a file that's got lots of shapes in it and I'll show you what I mean. Now I've got on my screen Nigerian state. So this layer has got 37 polygons in it. And if I double click it and I'm on fill in symbology, and go down to the bottom and expand layer rendering. If I tick draw effects here, I can click the star and then I can add a drop shadow. Okay, so I'll just accept the defaults. I'll maybe make the opacity 60% so it's not so harsh. I'll click OK and then apply. And we get a drop shadow applied to the whole layer. Okay, so that's when I've got fill selected, I've expanded layer rendering and I'm on draw effects. Let me turn this off and hit apply. If I go to simple fill, I also see some draw effects here. So I'll click this, I'll hit the star, and I'll now click drop shadow. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave the defaults as they are, and I'll click OK, and then apply. And you can see what happens here is, this time, a drop shadow is applied to every single shape. That's usually not what you want, but it can be a bit confusing. Sometimes for art or stylistic reasons you might want this but usually you don't and it can be a bit confusing so that's applying it to every single shape and we don't want that so i'll untick that i'll hit apply and i'll make sure i'm in the layer rendering section because we want to apply the drop shadow to the whole layer so i'll tick draw effects i'll hit the star i'll go to drop shadow i'll increase it to 80 percent i'll click ok and then apply and that's how you apply the drop shadow to the whole layer, not the individual shapes.